Okay, so first thing on the agenda today is we're going to go around and anywhere there's not a perfect seal, we're going to put some of this clear caulking just to prevent any bugs, wasps getting in because we've had some moths um, and some wasps getting in every now and then. We've shut the majority of it down, but just to be safe, we're going to go around and cover any more cracks that are in the cabin. After finishing sealing up the inside of the cabin, it was time to seal up the outside of the cabin to protect it from weather that would eventually come in the future. After a few weeks had passed, we decided that we needed somewhere comfy to sit inside of the cabin. So we repurposed an old futon and got it moved in, put a new mattress on it, and cozied up the cabin quite a bit. As the summer months arrive in the mountains, so do the black bears. I've been wanting to clear space down here by the creek so that the bears could come in and eat some corn and the already blueberries that were here and we could get some good pictures of them in the process. Right. 
Now before you go and say it, let me beat you to it. It might seem a little bit interesting just laying the corn down on the field instead of putting it in something that drops it out at a certain time every day. But black bears can be extremely destructive and just tear up some of that high dollar equipment. So we've done this at many other spots and it works out just fine and the bears, deer, raccoon, whatever will come by and just eat periodically as they want to. And then when it's gone, we just put out more feed for them. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but officially got a little feed station set up for whatever comes by. Hopefully a lot of black bear. We didn't realize when we were building it how many blueberries were in the area, but this whole, like, probably 75 to 80 percent of the vegetation you're seeing is blueberry bushes, so it's really rich with that, and that right there is going to attract black bears already, but decided to lay down some corn and a mineral salt to get them really coming in. Set up the trail camera, and then hopefully next time we come down here can get some good footage of them and get some good pictures to show you guys. If you're still here, thanks for hanging out. Consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And be sure to tune in next time because we're going to be starting a new and really unique build at the top of the mountain.